Hi, it's going guys. We are back at it again. Hi, it's going guys. We are back at it again with another deck highlight video. And today we are bringing back elusives. We're bringing back a little bit of a Freljord Ionian deck. And uh, at the heart of a Freljord Ionian deck, there is Braum. There is Zed, and there is an abundant supply of elusives. A little bit of an Omen Hawk and Inspiring Mentor thrown in there to kind of buff up your elusives to make them even beefier and better than before. So the only downside about this deck is that we have a lot of um, we have a lot of weaknesses against control decks. If we're playing against something like a Bilgewater, um, a Bilgewater Piltover deck, they're going to have Mystic shots. They're going to have uh, Make It Rain. They're going to have a lot of control to alienate our. Um, to alienate our elusives and they kind of control them so this is one of the harder matchups to play against um so it's kind of good in a way because it means that i'm showcasing uh i'm showcasing this deck playing against a relatively strong counter deck so um yeah so we want to try and make him pump out as much damage as we can with elusives their their deck doesn't have any elusives so they have to rely on spell cards to get rid of any danger which we potentially throw through their way so we have uh, Kenku Life Blade. We have Zed's getting getting pumped up, and obviously, I, like I said, Omen Hawk is in there to help to hopefully uh, take away any any one shot potential from their side. So when I say one shot potential, you know, they maybe need to use like get excited instead of a Mystic shot. So therefore, they're going to have to play a little bit more inefficiently than than we are. So. And as always, dudes, if you enjoy this video, remember to slap the like on it. And if you're new here, subscribe. Help me hit 10k subs by the end of 2020. I would appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, let's, uh, let's get more. Let's get into the video and be a little bit more focused on the gameplay. So you guys know what the deck consists of. So we're playing against a little, a little bit of a spicy discard deck. My most recent video was actually a discard deck when it was a discard Draven deck. Um, which is, this is a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of a spicy change. So instead of a, a Noxian uh, Piltover deck, they're doing Bilgewater, which kind of is kind of good uh, when played correctly. It's not as aggro, and uh, it can also be really, really strong late game. So oh nice all right he drew he drew get excited there so get excited is gone so he's already used to get excited Looking for a daring escape. the recall inspiring mentor means we can play him again we want to get a free five damage here nice yanks is going to level up damn son All right, so we're going to go Inspiring Mentor. Give me a sweet bug. Heightens the senses. Having Deny uh, in, my, in, my, uh, in my hand is fantastic. Playing against this deck, just in case they try and do a sneaky... You know, maybe they want to get rid of my Kenki Life Blade, and I want to try and uh, counter that. Instead of having to use Fury, Fury of the North, I can just drop a uh, drop a Deny and, and get rid of their Get Excited or whatever, so... Like, like, here we go, boys. Here we go. Right. It's like, do I let him kill my Kenki Life Blade and then use my Deny on his Super Mega Death Rocket? Nah. It, it wouldn't be as it wouldn't be as efficient because the Super Mega Death Rocket's only going to do one damage to my field. So this way, I kind of I lose a little bit. Oh wait, he can't even use his Death Rocket. I forgot. He doesn't. He doesn't have enough. Oh, he does have enough mana. I thought he he does have enough mana. Cost one. Um. Do we? I sense fear. I'm gonna drop a Fury of the North. Get rid of his Jinx. Will heal back up. Get rid of his zero two. This should be good. Oh my God. All right, the chances that he had a freaking Mystic Shock. Oh, 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 God. That's not good. That's not good. 
Uh, we have, we have uh, Hatchling. We can drop drop our wind for, for our Hatchling. Do we attack with these boys? We do. We do. So he can't do anything about our elusive, so we're going to do 11 damage, boys. Nice. This is looking actually, it, this is actually looking pretty good. Mystic shot. We're gonna go down to. Oof. We're gonna go down to six six health. Realistically, if I can survive the next round, I feel like we can win easily. Spin, spin, spin. You win. Oh, do we fear we have fear of the north? We should win. We should win. We should win. Right, 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 right. So we're going to... You call that we just have to survive speak? one more round. How did that move go? Fury of the North. Dude, do not... I'm so afraid because he has another random mystic shot. I'm so afraid. We'll do it. We'll do it. Please don't have a mystic shot, man. Please don't have a mystic shot. Please don't have a mystic shot. Or get excited. Don't do it. Don't do it. No. Yes. Good. Good shit. Alright, Jinx is dead. We're gonna play in the Vori Conspirator. Yeah, in the Vori Conspirator, the next round we're gonna play our Hatch Lane again. That means we're gonna have I'll take it. we're gonna have two. This should be good. We're gonna then essentially have two elusives. He has no elusives on his deck, and I don't think he has enough spells to combat against the elusives attacking. So we should win off of this next turn, I think. Yeah. So even if he attacks our 4 2, he can't defend against our 4 4. Oh! Soak it in. Right, he has new spells in his hand, or else he would have went for gold card. He would have went for gold card if he. Uh, if he could have defended against this, so he went for his blue to potentially draw something to defend against it with. Yeah, we win. We win. Let's go. That was sick. That was sick. I will play one more game. That was awesome. So good. All right, boys. We are playing against a Bilgewater Noxion deck this game, and the premise kind of stays true. They only have Make It Rain. To kind of potentially get rid of our our three ones or two ones and so on, and they're they're gonna be pro probably playing quite aggressive, but I got triple Brom, so this is gonna be a different little this is gonna be a different play style. This is gonna be good. So you guys already seen the elusives. Brom is actually fantastic because he's a little bit of the uh, the beefy burly man who kind of just stands in front of the way of uh, of any kind of damage coming to our to our um, beautiful elusives. So having these is uh having these in our hand is, is so good. So what I really want to do is play one Brom and then just keep beefing out that that Brom with the other two Broms. So yeah, take take heart's gonna come into play. So we will drop our Brom. He's 
stun on our bomb, that means he... Remember, he's, he's not playing a, uh, a Shadow Balls deck, so there's no File Feast, there's no real anything here, apart from Make It Rain. He's not going to play Make It Rain because he's going to end up hurting himself because we're going to get a free... Um, we're going to get a free Poro. So it, oh, dude, this is fantastic. This is fantastic. We have... Boys, we have two Cake Hearts and an Elixir of Iron and a Free of the North. So... If they try to attack anybody this round, they're not going to die. By like making it rain, Elixir of Iron on our 2-1. We're going to get a free, a free Poro. Thank you, mister. Thank you, Mr. Globus712. We got a free Poro. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I don't want to use Take Heart right away because remember it is a burst spell guys so we can kind of beat him in a little bit we're gonna drop take heart thank you my man we're almost becoming beefier than you could ever imagine oh we're gonna drop take heart <laughs> Oh my god, dude. This guy's lost already, and it's only turned... Oh! <laughs> he surrendered. He surrendered. As always, guys, if you enjoyed the video, slap a like on it. It really helps me out. But on to the next time, bros. Take it easy. Peace out. And good luck. On the rift. After coming waves across the shore Oh, maybe you could fly my kite, babe Maybe you could fly my kite, babe I can hear you laugh to come